Note, before this video starts, you can always use the how-to installation guide on www.zombiemod.com. Hello, and a tutorial on how to install the zombie mod on your Counter-Strike Source server. First off, start by opening up your web browser, either in Explorer, Firefox, or Opera, 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 <laughs> or Safari. Whatever you have, then go to www.zombiemod.com. Go to downloads, and then they have different zombie mod. Or they just have two. Never mind. And they also have zombie map. Um, Hairsaw, select which one, either Zombie Mod version 1.24 or Zombie Mod 1.2.8 full. Um, chip 1.2.8. Wait for that to download. Uh, that's finished downloading and open it unraw it delete the raw file I believe it's a raw file it is um you need winrar to open it since the raw file um you can go to www.rarlab.com r a r uh, download it and you'll be able to open winrar archives I'll put the link in the description. Um, it comes with a how to install, but really, some people, I just don't know. Too dumb to read it. I mean, see, it has a nice install right here. If you have any problems, you can go to their forum. But. Yeah, you know, some people, I don't know, they just don't know it there. Yeah. Also, for this, you will need, um, Metamod. Which I believe is downloaded, downloadable at www.metamod.com. If it isn't, I'll include the link in the description. I might post a future tutorial on how to da download and install Metamod. Um, right here you have a license, you have a thanks for using Zombie Mod. Hmm. Oh, thanks to the people. Yes. Thank you all for making Zombie Mod possible. You have a change log. Give you a bunch of changes they have done in the past for Zombie Mod. You can just delete this. No real need for it. Comes with the add ons folder, which, like I said, um, Metamod uses. Comes with the config folder, and you have your configs in here. And yeah. Comes with materials, models, and skybox, basically for what the zombie looks like. I believe for the, um, what you would call it, to make the whole thing look all dark and spooky. Yeah. Models have 
stuff for the different zombies and stuff. They have models, which is just some more for the zombies. And then you have sounds. And the sound file. Just basically. Windows Media Player. So gay. Yeah. And um, you can remove this if you don't really want it. It's basically there. Um, I believe it starts at every start of the map. Because they want it to start. You don't really need it. Um, the client, the player client that connects to your server automatically downloads this file unless they have CL underscore download filter no sound then they wouldn't download the file. But yeah, honestly it would get quite annoying doing that play at the start of every round unless your rounds are extremely long. Um, I would just go ahead and remove that but you can have it there anyways. Um, then go to your HL server folder you go to your C strike folder. And just copy all this, just select it all, and bring it in. It'll, it'll ask you to merge folders. You just click yes. And it'll merge the files in. And then go to add ons. Then you go to metamod. Metamod plugins. You add add ons. Um, oh, what's that slash? I believe that's a. Uh, forward slash um <coughs> take a member here forward slash add -ons, add ons forward slash zombie mod forward slash bin forward slash zombie mod underscore mm um depending on what your server has will depend on what you need to include if it's um a Windows server, then you'll use the dot dil file. If it's an Apache, oh no, why is it? Because it says Apache loadable right down there. If it's um, a Linux server, you use this thing. It won't be labeled Apache loadable unless you have Apache ins installed on your system. But yeah, you'll be using <coughs> that other one, not the dot dil one. So you could just go ahead and delete whichever one for the server you're going to use. Then save it down there. And it line rod should. I'm not saying it will. It should load. If it doesn't load, you can talk to me or you can go register an account on zombiemod.com forums. Um and ask for questions there. And if all else fails, well I guess you can't get yourself a zombie mod server. Thanks for watching.